So let's talk about how to activate the nervous system in ways that it promotes more liberation, movement, mobilization of fat, and more oxidation of fat. So one of the most powerful ways to stimulate epinephrine, which is also called adrenaline, from these neurons that connect to fat and to thereby stimulate more fat mobilization and oxidation is through movement. But I'm not talking about exercise. The type of movement that I'm referring to is extremely subtle. And some of you may be familiar with this type of movement, but I'm guessing you're probably not familiar with what I'm about to tell you which is that shiver or shivering is a strong stimulus for the release of adrenaline, epinephrine into fat and the increase in fat oxidation and mobilization. But shiver is not just induced by cold and there are other subtle forms of movement that can greatly increase fat metabolism and fat loss. There was a group in England during the 1960s and 70s that discovered a pathway by which subtle forms of movement can greatly increase fat loss. This is the work of Rothwell and Stock. It's very famous in the thermogenesis literature. And I learned about this early on when I was an undergraduate and I asked, how did they come across this? And here's how the story goes. They were aware that some people overeat and yet don't put on weight. Other people overeat even just a little bit and they seem to accumulate extra adipose tissue. Now this is long before all the discussions about microbiome and hormone factors and uh, you know, it's long before it, many of the hormone factors besides insulin had even been discovered. What they did was they examined people who overate and did not gain weight. And what they observed was that those people engaged in lots of subtle movement throughout the day. In other words, they were fidgeters and that's what they call them. I'm not going to do the British, the British accent version of fidgeters, but Rothwell and Stock were British. What they found were people that overeat, but don't gain weight as a consequence. And in fact, many people who had low levels of body fat had a lot of resting tremor not of the Parkinsonian type, but they would bounce their knee while they were sitting. When they would talk, they would engage in very angular movements. They were sort of electric. In fact, at now in science, I was chuckling about this as I was diving back into this literature because the other day I heard a, a wonderful lecture on a totally different topic from a colleague of mine. We all adore him. Uh, he's over in Europe and he's this tremendously successful scientist. So we like to poke fun at him. Uh, and every one of his movements is incredibly electric and staccato. And he's rail thin and he eats like a horse. And so it fits very well into the discovery of Rothwell and Stock, who discovered that fidgeters, people that bounce their knee, people that have a head bob while they're listening, people that nod a lot, people that stand up and sit down a lot throughout the day, and people that pace burn anywhere from 800 to 2,500 calories more than the, the control group in the experiments that they looked at. And indeed, there's been a modern look into all this and these numbers check out that simply moving around a lot, even if those are subtle movements, greatly increases the amount of energy that you burn. And people who overeat, the people who can have the, the second or the third donut or donuts at all and don't seem to put on weight to the same degree, they are people that move around a lot even when seated. There are people that will often move their limbs very quickly as well. That there even have been studies that have explored other things that correlate with fidgeters. Fidgeters stand up very quickly at the end of a lecture, or they start to gather their things very quickly, whereas non-fidgeters don't. So dogs like my bulldog Costello, definitely not a fidgeter. Every movement is incredibly slow and deliberate. Sitting down is a process. If you ask him to sit down, it's sort of a slow motion. You ask him to get up and he kind of looks at you, sighs and then stands up. The fidgeters are the opposite of that, right? You say, how are you doing? And they go, great. So even sometimes their speech will be accelerated, although not always, but staccato movements, fidgeting, etc. And in 2015, and again in 2017, there've been studies that have, been, have explored this using some modern metabolic tracking. And indeed, simply moving a lot, being a fidgeter, bouncing your knee, standing up and pacing several times or many times throughout the day led to 
considerable amounts of fat loss and weight loss when people were ingesting the same amount of food. If they overate, they were able to compensate and burn off that food. And if they were trying to lose weight and they incorporated this fidgeting protocol of deliberately trying to fidget more and move around during the day, pace, stand up more quickly, sit down more often, sit down and stand up more often rather, they found that they greatly increased their weight loss anywhere from 20 to 30% increases. And in some cases, you know, there are the, always those few people who burned a lot more. It seems to work best in people who are already slightly overweight. So for people that are overweight, who are kind of averse to exercise, fidgeting might actually be a good entry point. And 800 to 2,500 calories is a considerable amount of calories when you really think about it. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, there's clearly a tool to export from this, which is that you can increase the amount of calories burned without having to go on additional long runs. I do hope that people are exercising regularly because it's so important for other aspects of brain and body health. But nonetheless, we, all, we are all time limited and we are not all so ready to embrace exercise. I have a family member who has been slowly coaxed into exercise, but if I were to tell her, for instance, you need to fidget more, she'd probably go for it. So this is a powerful way to increase the calories that are burned.